here in Melbourne, you can find a scale replica of the solar system that you can walk, run, or cycle the entire length of. It's built on the scale of one to one billion. So instead of walking the 4.5 billion kilometers it would take from the sun to Neptune, we're only gonna have to go 4.5 kilometers. And it all starts here, here in St Kilda, but more specifically here with the sun. the solar system or well, this is Proxima Centauri this is the closest known star to our very own Sun and it's actually 40 trillion kilometers away in real life so you may be thinking but why is it just a short walk from the scale model Sun to the scale model Proxima Centauri well if you use that one to one billion scale and take that 40 trillion kilometers it's about 40,000 kilometers that's about the distance of the circumference of the globe so you can walk from the Sun to Proxima Centauri in the scale model and be accurate, the only thing is you'd have to just do a lap of the globe and then come here. But as we start the solar system trail, let me test your knowledge of our solar system along the way as well. So as we're heading out, easy question to start with, what's the first planet? So 60 million kilometers, or in our case, 60 meters from the sun, Mercury. What I love is Mercury is 5,000 kilometers in diameter in real life so on our one to one billion scale it's just 0.5 centimeters five millimeters next up and again just a short hop of course it's venus 108 million kilometers from the sun in real life but of course in our scale model just a short 108 meters from where we started venus being a lot bigger than mercury just over 12,000 kilometers diameter in real life so 1.2 centimeters more than double what mercury was and of course, no prizes for guessing what the third rock from the sun is. It's home, Earth. This is 150 meters from the sun, so 150 million kilometers from the sun in real life. And the nice thing about the model they've got for the Earth is not only have they included the Earth, but they put a teeny tiny but accurate to scale version of the moon as well. I, mean, I know you've got Io, Ganymede, Europa, Titan, Triton, Titania, Charon, Nix, Hydra, all the other moons seem to have really fun names, but the official scientific name for the moon of Earth is... Then Mars, 228 million kilometers from the sun, 228 meters from the scale model sun. I don't have a lot to say about Mars. I've got to be honest, it's possibly my least favorite planet in the solar system. Nothing against Mars. I know it's the sister planet to Earth and all that, but it's a bit, it's a bit dull. Let me know your thoughts on Mars in the comments below. Am I being too harsh on Mars? Should there be more Mars love? All right, now to increase the distances a little bit. Time to go a bit deeper into the solar system. Jupiter, 778 million kilometers from the sun or 778 meters from our sun. Jupiter, named after the Roman god Jupiter, the first of the gas giants in the solar system and the largest planet in our solar system as well. So on the solar system trail, of course, by scale, the largest model of them all. Here it is. Hello Saturn. After all my negative comments towards Mars in a previous section of this video, how good is Saturn? I reckon Saturn, my favorite planet in the entire solar system. After all, it's so good someone put a ring on it. 121 million kilometers in diameter, obviously not including the rings, just the planet, the gas planet itself. So 12.1 centimeters across for the model here. Here's where we started the sun, obviously Mercury, Venus, Mars, all that fun stuff, Jupiter. We're now at Saturn and now the longest distance between planets so far, Ur Ur Uranus, 2,900 million kilometers from the real sun. So for us, 2.9 kilometers traveled so far. And finally, 4,500 million kilometers from the sun, 4.5 kilometers for us today, the last planet in the solar system, Neptune. All right, thanks for joining me. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, are you wondering if they added a Pluto? Do you think that they would build this entire solar system trail and not bother putting poor demoted Pluto somewhere way up in the distance? surely they wouldn't leave Pluto out would they it's like I know it was demoted as a dwarf planet 
but it's been part of the solar system for so long. they didn't forget it. So 5,900 million kilometers from the sun, 5.9 kilometers traveled for us from our scale model of the sun. Yeah, they did include Pluto, the smallest model on the whole solar system trail, but Pluto is here. It's only 2,300 kilometers in diameter in real life. So in our scale model, it's 0.23 centimeters, 23 millimeters in diameter. Thanks as always for watching. If you're new to the channel and you're not a subscriber, feel free to click on this subscribe button. It means a lot to me to see the channel grow. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Hope you get to do the solar system trail yourself sometime soon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Pluto.